So you got the best emulation device ever, which is the Amber Nick RG353V. You are wondering now, how do I put games on this? Well, I'm gonna show you. Let's check it out. So you already have the Amber Nick RG353V or the 353P, or you have it pre-ordered and it is coming in. The first thing that you wanna do if you are new to buying it is buy the one with two SD cards because this has 4,000 plus games on it. After you go into it, it will load up how many games each one has. But you know, if you wanted to add games, you wanted to add a PSP game or a PlayStation game, a Neo Geo game, a Dreamcast game gear, you get the picture. I want to add a, let's say a Nintendo DS game. Let me show you how to do that. First off, all the games are in this bottom SD card, as I said, so you're gonna just pop this bad boy off, which it just flew out, that's great. And then for me, I am a Mac user, so I need an SD card adapter, which I will then plug into my Mac, and then I'm gonna show you some magic. So you plug the SD card in, you know that you wanna get a Nintendo DS game. All you're gonna do is look for the Nintendo DS folder, which is going to be right here for me. You're gonna let it load up, and then you're gonna see that the games that are in here with the images. I'm gonna show you how to put another game in here. As you can see, Lego Star Wars, Nintendogs, Nintendogs, Animal Crossing, etc. I want to put a game that I don't have in here. So let's see what games that I can get. I will put the link to the website in the description below. Cannot display it in the video, but I want to save a game. I want Super Mario. Who could, we can't go wrong with Super Mario Brothers. So I'm gonna save game. After this gets going, I'm gonna show you how to load it and what it looks like on the Ambernick RG353V. So for me, I already created the image and put the image in there. It's gonna be, as you can tell, it's numerical 030. This is 031 Super Mario Bros. And then you're gonna go to the download folder that it popped in, drag and drop over here. And then you're gonna change that name to this one's Kung Fu Panda 030. This is gonna be 031. I do wanna mention that this is an important step. You're gonna to wanna to copy the name of the ROM that you downloaded, which is 031 New Super Mario Bros. And you're gonna to wanna to rename your image with that. You need that hyphen right there, dash image, when you add it. So it's gonna look like this. 031 New Super Mario Bros. dash image. That's gonna be the only way that that image pops up on your Ambernick device. And since I haven't reset it yet, you can tell that this game is not anywhere on here. Of course, they don't wanna put a Mario game by Nintendo on there because you all know how Nintendo can be when it comes to their Mario games. So what we're gonna do is take our SD card out, flip it over, which is still weird for me that it goes in like this, pop it in there, and then we're gonna flash, which means we're going to reset, and then we're going to let it load up. So for you guys, it was mere seconds. For me, it was over an hour. I had to get in touch with Amber Nick about the image. I couldn't get it to load even after going into the options on the game. The game is actually loaded fine, but I don't have an image, so. Did everything that you could do. I did the scrape. I also edited, changed the new name in the image, but nothing worked. I will wait for them and I'll do an update video. Right now, it doesn't affect anything. It just means that I don't have an image that pops up right there, which for me, that's kind of a bummer, but the game does work. Let's go into it. I will turn the volume down because we know how Nintendo can be. Obviously, this is a Nintendo DS game, so you're gonna have that two screen, but you can switch this way or you can go to one screen and then you can have it like this. You would jump into your game, new file. You guys know that you don't really need the save files because you can just do a save data here. So that makes it very simple. And we will let this load up. And then, as you know, the intro, but it is working good. I do have something special to show you guys because during that hour, I was like, you know what? I want to load another game in here, and I loaded one of the classics from my childhood, but I will show you next. Let's get into play real quick, just a little bit of it. We all know the story. Let's see what's happening on the other screen, or we can switch back to dual screens if that's what we want. Me, I like to play it one screen at a time and then just go through. So we'll go in. But as you can see, working perfect. Yes, everything is here and it is working and I am dead. But let's restart and let me show you the classic game that I loaded from my childhood that involves WWF, No Mercy, or you know how they go by these days, WWE. 
I was a huge wrestling fan in the early 2000s, the late 90s. I am 36 years old, so I grew up in the Monday Night Wars and everything, and playing WWF No Mercy, man, that made time go by fast because that was a great game. So, let's see how it runs on the Ambernick RG353V, which I expect it to do well. It's just, it's actually so cool getting tool, dual sticks down here and getting to play some of these classic games. But, oh, I, you know what? I gotta listen. I mean, I don't remember if you guys remember this music. My favorite wrestler actually growing up was Shawn Michaels. When he retired after the Stone Cold WrestleMania 14 match, I stopped watching for a little bit. But then I came right back, got to see DX and everything. Look at this. It's classic. And now if we go into copyrighted music, I don't want to go in there. So let's just, oh, Y2J. So I am excited to see how this runs. Of course, Rumble Pack Sport, insert Rumble Pack now. We're good. Look at this. It's the classic old school and I don't know if you guys know this, but you can remap buttons. Obviously, this is an N64, so it's going to be totally different. What was back? Was it X? It was. It was this button. So, oh, yeah, you could do it like that. I remember. Wow, that, that's definitely different. So is this enter? Single match. One versus. No, we want to. Is this back? This is enter. One player versus computer. And you know what? It's no mercy. Let's do it. So, yeah, you, we're ready to go. I'm going to have to remap the controllers. But just to get an idea of how everything looks, Y2J versus... Oh, no, we can't do that one. We'll do The Rock. So, single match. Chris Jericho versus The Rock. Again, the link is in my bio for this. This is just... It's so cool getting to take this on the go. And the battery life has been amazing. I will be doing a full review because I did get to my review unit and the one that I will just play. And I am excited. I think it's loading. Oh, no, you do have to press start. Okay, well, there you go. Classic, classic Y2J. I mean, even to get to play this game in handheld, it's like my old, oh. All right, I know. All right, how do we? Can we skip intros? I think I turned intros on. Oh no, you can. Oh no, no. Do I have to wait for him to come out? Oh, I can only skip mine. Okay, so, all right. Oh, I am so excited to play. But this is the Ambernick RG353V. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I do review a ton of different tech. It's not only going to be gaming devices, just a ton of different tech. Obviously, I have 160,000 followers on TikTok. I have 23,000 on YouTube now and 40,000 on Instagram. So if you can, go follow all my socials. This was a tutorial on how to add games. I will put, be putting links in the bio. Thank you for following. Ooh.